You're currently watching footage of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in low light video mode with the wide angle lens. So this is me, RP Gutierrez, back for another DJI Osmo Pocket 3 video test. In this video, we'll be testing the low light capabilities of this camera. So I've now changed the camera setting to regular video mode. So let me know what difference do you see from this one and from the low light video mode. So one very obvious difference with the regular video mode and the low light video mode is that with this one, you can do a zoom. So in 4K, it's up to two times. So this is the zoom level now. So it's still kind of far. So this is regular video 4K 30 with auto settings. So one thing I don't like about food vlogging with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is that you can see shadows because the camera is too close to the object and it's blocking the light source. So here I'm trying to do the vortex mode from the top view. So as I've highlighted in my other video, I cannot show you my food and my face at the same time so it's not really not really that good for mukbang videos. And I already have the wide angle lens here. So this is my food. So let's try to do the video test this is my burger mm. one thing i like is that there's a very shallow depth of field for the background for this camera so because maybe it's because of the larger sensor so and these are the fries So again, shallow depth of field, I hope. I'm not sure. Also, my audio is coming from the DJI wireless mic too. That's part of the uh, creator combo. So now I'm on the low light video mode. Let's see how different it is. There's very loud music right now in the background. And some people are talking. So this is a good test of if the microphone works at isolate works well at isolating my voice so for this test it's a low light environment but we still have a lot of artificial lights in the area so i think this is providing ample lighting for this video footage So based on what I see on the screen, I'm pretty amazed. You see the sky is light blue, but it's really dark from where I'm seeing it now. And then here is the sky. You can see some stars. There's the moon. There are the stars. So I think the image is very noisy now. So I'm done eating. I'm walking now and there's really not much light in this area. Well, there are many tiny street lights here. So like this. But that's all. And generally, it's quite dark. So here I am on the low light video mode of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So we're entering a forest now, a tiny forest. So there's not much light. What I see is really brighter. I, what I see on the screen is really much brighter than what I see with my eyes. So some areas out there look black already, but here they still look fine. So if you see the purple tint here, I don't see it much with my own eyes. So maybe it's an effect with the LED lights. Here's the bell tower. Okay, so looking at this now, what I see is almost pitch black. So with my eyes it's really dark, but I can see that it's quite bright here on the screen, but there's a lot of image noise. So you see that street lamp there, that's the only light source in this area. 
so right now I'm filming with the iPhone 15 Pro Max you can see that what's in my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is brighter than what you can see here in real life so this is the low light video mode of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 there's the moon so one of the big things that separate this from action cameras is the gimbal so even if we shoot with low shutter speeds sorry with slower shutter speeds um it's not gonna be too crazily shaky or blurry because there is a mechanical gimbal so now we're just walking so you'd get street lights and things like that and that's okay so i think for vlogging scenarios this is enough but if you're gonna use it for professional work, for low light work, maybe not too much. You need, you'd still need a bit more light because I can see even the small screen that there's quite a lot of noise. So I've so far been showcasing the auto mode of this camera. So I think it's time to amp it up a notch. Let's try to use the manual mode of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Okay, so right now we're on the auto mode and I'm gonna switch to manual mode. First, let's fix the white balance. So let's compare it now. So we have 5000 Kelvin and now I'm gonna try to change the manual, the exposure settings which I can't do while recording <laughs> so after changing the white balance I set the shutter speed to 1 over 60 1 over 60 because I'm using I'm filming at 30 frames per second so following the 180 degree shutter rule uh, your shutter speed should be 1 over 2 times your frame rate the ISO is 50 exposure compensation negative 3.0 so now this is ISO 100, ISO 200, ISO 400. It's still not as bright as the auto settings, but the advantage of this is we get a cleaner image. ISO 800, ISO 1600, ISO 3200, ISO 6400. Now this is ISO 9600, ISO 12800, and the maximum ISO that we could get 16000. The maximum ISO for this camera so this is the manual setting 1 over 60 shutter speed ISO 16,000 I'm looking at my phone sorry I think there's a lot of smoothing that's happening now and even at low light the autofocus works really great I, I see in the background there's a lot of blurring okay. um, yeah for such a tiny camera to get that kind of shallow depth of field um, optically and not digitally I'm really impressed so we're now done with the manual video settings test I'm back on auto mode auto exposure auto white balance if you like this video or learn something from it please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what you think about this camera or what kind of video you want or what kind of video you want next regarding the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 so that's it that's me signing off. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye!